Hey everyone, welcome back to yet another episode of JNAI Vlog. Today we're going to be talking about how to save your model onto Hugging Face Cloud. So previously we talked about this transformer model and we already fine tuned it, right? We got some sort of human sensible answer. Here we can ask a question, who wrote Hamlet? And then we can call this model, we say predict text. It will give us an answer that somewhat makes sense. Shakespeare wrote the Hamlet. So let's say you are at a good stopping point. You feel like you can go do something else, take a break, something like that. You want to save the model somewhere, right? So GPT means generative pre-trained transformers. Of course, there's a pre-trained word in there, right? So if you don't save it, how do you get a pre-trained model? So that's what we're here today, right? And there's no other way safer than saving the model onto some sort of a cloud environment. So we have a package here called push to hub and you import a function. It will give you this function down here called push model to hugging face. So you're going to need a couple of things. You need a hugging face token, you need account name, and then you need a model name. So in terms of token, you see here, I'm using Google Colab user data to manage the secrets. Uh, so that's how I manage a token. You can of course copy paste in here or do whatever is convenient for you. And then there's account name that is the hugging face account that I created for myself. And then there's, of course, a model name. For the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to call it pre-trained transformer model v1. So I run this code. It will ask to grant access. I say yes. And then it will take the model artifact, serialize it, and then write the weights as well as the model architecture to a cloud environment. And then it also give you this URL. So you click on it. It'll take you to this page. And then this is exactly the transformer model that I just created. And then you can go to files. There's a config JSON and there's a Keras model for you to use. There's a pickle for the vocabulary. There's tokenizer, things like that. So now this model is saved online and it's ready to go. And you can confirm that it's less than a minute ago because I pushed this model up here just now. So that's it. It's meant for a quick episode for you guys to know how to use this. And the next episode, we're going to come back. We're going to show you how to reload the model and then how to start training your model again. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and like.